Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me, let's play some more Norway in EU4. So, we have a uh, an extra ship now to add to our arsenal, our navy. Let's wait till the month ticks, just so that we don't lose any income while we combine. Back to protecting trade in Lubick. We, uh, we're still not going to take on any advisors, we're still trying to stockpile some money. Because we're almost to the point now where we're going to be able to pick up the next idea, which is nice. Um, production efficiency plus 10% will be okay. Actually, most of our income actually does come from production. <clears throat> More so than uh, taxation, rather. But um, we're going to hold off on picking up any advisors or spending any of our money for the moment because we are almost to level 5 admin tech, and then we're going to build some constables, or sorry, some, some temples, so we can get our force limits up, and uh, I don't know, see where we go from there. And other than that, we're basically just waiting for improved relations with Scotland, and uh, Novgorod to see if we can get support. These guys are willing to accept, although um, we cannot ask them to as we need to have a positive opinion of them. <clears throat> Interesting, so because they haven't done any improved relations, we, uh, we don't like them. Well, maybe they'll start improving relations with me soon. We're about to cap out Scotland. They're still hostile. I'm thinking about trying to get the Hansa on our side. I mean, if you look at the Hansa, let's just check the, the ledger here. The Hansa probably has one of the more significant navies. Actually, when it comes to light ships, we're pretty far up there. That's surprising. Hansa, the, the Hansa. They have seven. It's not really as big as I would have expected. They have 25 force limit and only 12 ships. Okay, the Hansa, how big is your navy, your uh, army? Nine. You guys are kind of piddly. Okay, so we're going to bring a guy, guy back from Scotland. They're improved by quite a bit. <clears throat> the fact that they've got that claim and they want to attack us means that I guess maybe it'd be pretty unlikely. You'd think they'd actually want to support our independence just so that they could attack us without having to go to war with Denmark, but that's fine. So do we stop embargoing the Hansa? How, how significant is our embargo, really? Embargoed by Norway, minus 6.8. So they're losing some trade power. I actually have pretty high, pretty high trade power. I would actually like to go to war with the Hansa up their damn navy. I don't know what I want. I want lots of things. Hmm. <coughs> if we got rid of this, I think we, oh. I just think we have to do it. Uh, we do. The Hansa are one of the few people that are going to actually help us against Norway. I think we need it. So let's end our embargo. We're sorry. I completely reversed my decision to ruin your country. Until, of course, we're independent, in which case then we're totally going to kill you. Uh, oh, you've also rivaled me, so that's... Oh, wait. Rival. You my country. Oh, is the fact that you have Denmark as a rival make me dislike you? That's weird. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I rivaled them, that's right. I don't, I'm, I don't, I, just don't listen to me. Alright, so you're no longer my rival, Hansa. We're allowed to be friends now. Plus 25. Instantaneous change. Plus 18. No, they're totally fine with me now. And they're probably already getting close to being willing to... Look at that. Look at that. Now they'll totally accept accept this. They've rivaled Denmark. That That's the key. We just have to do that. So we got the Hansa on board. Now we need to make sure Novgorod's on board. They're on board. We need for us to like them more. I hate how it says that. 
In the end, their attitude is entirely up to them, except not really. You limit my ability to make decisions based on this stupid number. And I've got to do gimmicky little things, like I've got to ask them for military access and stuff. In order to, to get myself to like them enough. Joseph of Austria is the new emperor. I still haven't done any, any reforms. Let's ask them for military access, that'll make us like them a bit more. And then, um... I'm not sure what else we can do to make us like them more. Get our next naval idea. That sounds good. That'll be our key to getting our prestige up. And we're stockpiling money for our first few temples. <coughs> Excuse me. I am still, amazingly, after like a week, still recovering from my cold. It causes me to cough all the time. It's annoying. It's like that one of the, one of those dry coughs that just won't go away. Muscovy is uh, not doing much. I can invest in a cardinal. Why did that just pop up now? I mean, I've had. Quite a few points, actually. Got 24. Anyway, um, not that we really care about the papacy. I guess we try to take this guy from mains. Okay, Novgorod. What else can we do to make you like us? The Hansa, I want you to support my independence. Scotland, I want you to stop being not nice to me. Just because I have territory that you want, you're going to be all pissy with me? Gosh, you're so annoying. Do we still have that statute and restraint of appeals thing? Yeah, we do. And yet, the guy likes us. Gain ducats or stability? My lord, one of your advisors, has suggested selling off titles of nobility to anyone who can afford to pay. It would bring in lots of money if we do, but it would devalue the idea of nobility and perhaps upset the existing aristocratic families. Should we do this? So essentially, um, our base tax is 24 gold per year. So if we increase stability by one, we're going to get 10% income on 24. So 2.4 gold per year. It's offering me... 21 gold, which is like, what would that be, 9 years worth of income? There's always a risk stability could go back down, but the other advantages to the stability would be the loose, reduced revolt risk, the increased global trade power, missionary strength. I think we take the stability. And our war exhaustion is almost gone, thank goodness. How are we doing on naval tradition? Are we building up tradition from uh, patrolling around with our boats? It's changed by 0.25 yearly from protecting trade. See, we could gain quite a bit of naval tradition if we bumped up our uh, our ship count. And we're only 355 points away from getting that next idea group, which is the big one. Naval force limits plus 50%. And then we're going to get morale. We're going to have a very powerful navy. And that is the plan, my friends. <clears throat> Alright, so who do we have supporting us? Right now, just the Hansa. We've still got Poland rivaled. Um, Hungary, they're just never going to do it unless they become hostile to Denmark. So just got to keep an eye on Denmark's enemies. And uh, Novgorod, I think we should ask to support as soon as maybe they improve relations with us. Gain an admiral with 50 tradition. One of our Seahawks has turned out to be much better than we first expected. Awesome. So we get a free admiral, which is uh, one of these guys. So that's like 50 free points. And it's going to give us... He's going to have skills based on us having 50 naval tradition. That's what it means when it says gain an admiral with 50 tradition. It's not like you gain 50 tradition. It's just as if you had 50. 
So Bjorn Bolt, a 3-4, no maneuver score. Somehow he has siege value, which makes no sense. Probably because he's a, an event spawned guy. I was fairly certain that they removed, and, and I'm almost positive they did, that they got rid of their siege score. See here, it's not even on here, but he has siege value. That's very strange. We would have much rather had a little bit of maneuver. I mean, 3-4, very, very good. We're going we're gonna to use the crap out of this guy when it comes to combat. But maneuver would have been nice for trade steering. Excellent. I love the fact that we're up to two stability and I didn't have to buy a single point. What does leader... like, why did they even add it in the game in the first place? I mean, I mean, was there some plan, maybe, of having siege score apply to blockade efficiency or something? That would have been really cool, but... I guess it was never implemented. We're in 61st place. Yay! Hey, Novgorod, how come you won't improve relations with me? I'm such a swell guy. You know you want me to be your friend. I will guarantee you. I will... How can I make me like you? That is so silly. They would totally support me, except that I don't like them enough. <laughs> okay. How oh, dumb. Scotland, are we still rivals? Of course we are. We always will be. The Livonian Order. Guess we get them to support us. And then probably improve relations with them again. You can almost bet on the fact that Sweden's going to do something interesting soon. In a personal union since 1452. So theirs is fairly fairly recent. They're not going to just rebel, or sorry, get annexed like right away. And Sweden is hostile toward me. <coughs> well, I would have liked for it to be a little bit more eventful in the beginning, but we're not allowed to declare war on anyone, so we're kind of just sort of waiting. We could always look over our provinces and just see if there's anyone that's the wrong culture. I don't think that there are. We actually have quite a bit of territory, surprisingly. What's that thing up there? There's some blue ooze up here. It's like a toxic waste zone or something. We do have enough money to build three temples when they come about, which will be good. We're at our force limit, so we're not gonna. I don't really plan on going over my force limit until we're ready for war. Out of curiosity, Denmark has 11 dudes. You know, they're making it easier to full, find information while having to go into this ledger. I insist the best way to make it easy is put some darn buttons along the top that allow you to filter it by types of country. Like, just like here, where I go to show opinions and I'm able to do this, neighbors. And I can only see my neighbors. Right? My neighbors, people who directly are adjacent to me. Novgorod, Sweden, Scotland. Like, please, for crying out loud, put that in the ledger. I don't care about everyone's army, I care about my neighbors. People I want to go to war with. Or sometimes I do care about everybody, in which case I would disable that filter and I could look at everybody. But, like, searching through this just to find Denmark is foolish. It's just silly. Anyway, Denmark has 11,000 troops. We have 9,000. Denmark has... 21 ships. Only four that are light. They've got a bunch of galleys. So if we wanted to, we could just try to fight not in the Inland Sea. Although, come to think of it... The bonuses that galleys get... I think that they only apply when fighting heavy ships. You receive 100% bonus to damage dealt to non-galleys. Oh damn, it's not just uh, it's not just heavy ships, it is all non-galleys. 
So unfortunately, that means that um, when you when you match these two up, a galley already has 20% more combat strength. Um, but then multiply that by two, it's 24 combat strength to 10. So they're very significantly stronger than a light ship. And our 20% combat ability is only going to make them equivalent to about a 12. So they're still going to be twice as strong as we are. 12 to 24. So we definitely would not want to fight in the Inland Sea. We'd take our navy, put it in the this area, try to bait them to come out and fight us somewhere else. But um, they've got nine galleys where we have eight light ships. We do have three early Carracks, though, which actually are very powerful. The early Carracks might even be able to offset the galleys. But we'd probably still try to take the battle out here. Right, so, Constable, yes, let's take the tech. Let's go ahead and build up some temples, which we're going to need some more points for. So which ones do we want to build? I suppose they're all equal, really. Probably the ones that are more defensive. I'm, I'm trying to really min-max here because I'm concerned about getting sieged again. So why don't we build up the ones that are in mountains and that are coastal. So we'll take that one. We want to build up the ones that we don't expect to get sieged. I would build this one, but it's not coastal. Coastline. I guess islands would be fine. Because islands are easier for us to protect with our strong navy. Let's build up these islands. When we die, God judges immediately and decides a soul's fate until it awaits the last judgment. A monk has started a doc doctrinal dispute that verges on the edge of heresy when he claimed that there was no purgatory and saying prayers for the dead would not assist their passage into heaven. These disputes are threatening the very unity of our church. He is probably a heretic or sorry there is nothing you can do for your dead loved ones. Is this permanent? Finmark is uh, fairly stable. I mean, there's we could easily handle the revolt risk. Do we want Catholicism to have reform desire? I guess is the other question. <coughs> Once this gets up to 100% is when we start to see all the heresies pop up, which can be really problematic. <coughs> Although we could switch to like Protestant or Reformed or something and maybe get some bonuses from it. Let's just say he's probably a heretic. We're not going to take any penalties for ourselves. We're going to be greedy. Okay. The Hansa has been improved all the way to 100. So you're going to keep on being my buddy, right? Sweet. Denmark still has the same enemies. Scotland still doesn't like me. To be expected. The Livonian Order. They like us. We're capping them out. Good. So you have four enemies. The Hansa we've already got. Novgorod we can't get because we don't like them. God, that is so annoying. I guess we improve relations with Novgorod and hope that they reciprocate. And then other than that, we keep on building up our temples. On the islands now. And we should immediately see our force limits start to go up as those complete. But before we do that, I'm going to take a break here. So I'm going to build four temples, just because I know that'll definitely raise our, our land force limit by one. Because right now we're at 24, so we want it to be divisible by four. So 28. Um, and then we'll save the rest of our money to build the new ships. So let's just wait. Um, it's like two or three more months. Start up that next temple, and then I'm going to take a break. Low maintenance, and we are at war. Interesting. The Polish subjugation of the Teutonic Order. Okay, well, I guess we're going to take a break here. <laughs> I'm going to reevaluate and see where we're at with this war. Maybe we can get up to 50 prestige and get all the way up to 3 stability. 
So we'll see. All right, I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.